People often ask about minimally invasive surgery. It's such a common buzzword or marketing word that people are so familiar with from print or commercials, etc. And while surgeons in 2017 have found ever increasing ways to do minimally invasive kinds of surgery, sometimes we have to do those surgeries open. And minimally invasive involves making smaller holes. One of the places where this has gained great achievement is in the treatment of compression fractures, fractures where the bones in the back have squished somewhat, kind of like an accordion. And we've developed technologies where we can do what we call a kyphoplasty or a vertebroplasty, and that involves just placing a tiny cannula and cement into the bone to restore its strength. Many other places where we've developed minimally invasive advances involve things like discectomies. And neurosurgeons are able to do things with small holes and microscopes, and we can both do decompressions and discectomies. Sometimes we can even do minimally invasive fusions. But I think as a neurosurgeon who has treated people for 20 years, they shouldn't always just be fixated on minimally invasive because it's such a common household term now. Sometimes people just simply need to have a surgery that's done well that really completely treats their problem and that's often going to be the most successful situation. And I think many people have gotten so fixated on selling themselves as minimally invasive. And that's a proper tool in some situations and sometimes you just need to be fixed. Thank you.